Hi guys, welcome to my channel and my long overdue makeup empties, empties of 2022. I have been bet round a place with my health, hence the weird uploads. I am, I have been working on it, but we're getting to it now. So I'm going to get into the totals and everything and let's jump into it. <laughs> Okay, I hope that you can see and you can hear because I'm filming at yet another angle. My laptop is here. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with like my base and let's just start with the base. Right, so I finished two facial sprays. I used to have, I'm going to film my inventory after this. So if you want, you'll see what I mean. But I used to have a lot of facial sprays. And since the pandemic, I worked through them and I saw thought that there was no point in repurchasing until I'm properly back in the office, which will be later this year. Hopefully it's soon. Everything is up in the air. I passed my exams. Yay. But right now my goal is to have no more than three uh, facial sprays. I only have one, but I finished the two that I had in my collection this one I got from Ruth and I finished it. I kept the empty packaging of the other one to put water in it, but this is the Lacura Healthy Glow Overlight Relaxing Facial Spritz. It has basically a lavender smell off it and I really liked it just for freshening up, doing before my makeup. So that's gone, it's from Aldi and it's my second one and thank you Ruth. This one is from Milani. It is the Make It Dewy Setting Spray Hydrate Illuminate and Set. I did not think that this set um, my face whatsoever it was nice it was 15 euros and 99 cents so it's pretty expensive so I wouldn't repurchase so the only spray I have left is my Urban Decay All Nighter I finished that but I didn't include it in my numbers because I reused the bottle and added more I don't know why but this is two empty packaging that is leaving my collection I'm not repurchasing this I would repurchase this and if I didn't mention my goal was every year is to use 50 products but I think I need to reevaluate that goal because my collection is getting smaller but yeah two okay oops so primer is actually a little bit surprising uh I wasn't expecting this at all now I wore makeup I'm going to put it on the screen I think it's 152 or 154 days this year so not as much as usual I spent a lot of this year working on my health, but also being ridiculously sick for most of this year. So I'm happy with that number of uses. They weren't forced and I enjoyed it. So this is the full size that I finished. This is the Smashbox original photo finish, smooth and blur. I liked this. It is the silicone feeling primer. It's 30 mils. It's very expensive though. So I don't know what I like. I like a silicone primer, not often. I, pr I would be open to repurchasing it if I didn't come across a silicone one for cheaper, but I did like it. The next one I got as a gift, um, oops, and this is the Good Molecule Silicone, silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. I wore this kind of before makeup and it, I really liked this. I would repurchase this if I can get it, I would buy this. I really, really liked it. A really, really thoughtful gift and I used it up. 15 mils, it's gone. This one is a smaller one. I think it was either 12 or 15 euros in boots. It's the Fenty Beauty one and it's the Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. I liked this. Would I repurchase it? I would consider the small one, but I'm not in any rush, but I did like it. It had like a, you know, it reminded me of the Glow Recipe Niacinamide that's in the shape of a light bulb. It's like that. Small one was plenty. Um, So, so far in terms of repurchasing I would definitely want to repurchase this. Um, I need a silicone primer, so this would be an option. But out of these three so far, it's definitely this, just the one. Um, this is the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Face Primer. I got it in a set, 15 mils. It smells like citrus. The one that I had smelled like orange. Or even though it says banana on it, it's smelt like orange, um, obviously because of the vitamin C element to it. And then it had an orange, orangey yellow tinge. It was a uh, glowy primer. What is wrong with me today? It was a glowy primer. I liked it, but I could live without it. I neither here nor there. They are expensive. If it came in the set, I'd use it again. Like I did in, what got on here? I did enjoy using it, but you know. This one I also got as a gift. I know it's only small, but once it goes in on my inventory, 
it counts. So this is the Tatcha, the Silk Canvas Protective Primer. I'm so grateful for this gift. So grateful because imagine spending the full amount of money to see what the sauce is. I thought this was no point. All my humble opinion was all hype and no action. <laughs> I did like come on, you know, when you hear things hyped up, you're expecting it to give you like I don't know, plastic surgery, I don't know anything, face filler, I don't know. You're expecting something like magical, <laughs> almost surgical. But what did it do? Only nothing. <laughs> it didn't. It's probably the exact same as the the elf putty one. Like, what did it do? How did they... Imagine creating this product and be like, hmm, yes, I'm just, just going to charge 7,000 euros for this, please. Thank you. Now, if people like it, that's great. Obviously, you don't want your money to go to waste. But why I'm so happy is it was a gift, so I didn't have to try it. And now I know. So I saved money. So we finished four primers this year. Um, I liked them all, technically, but my favourites were this one and this one. And I like this as well. So, but yeah, I would repurchase one for sure out of here. One. If I can, I don't even know, can I get this? My other goal is not monetary. I see people doing a thousand dollar goals. My goals are always the number of products. The money I just track for curiosity to see how much I'm spending. But mainly if I have 50 products, I want to use them. Now, concealer and foundation, it's again, not a strong year. Anyway, for concealer, I finished three, which is surprising. I was very surprised. Like this one is a small one. I got this one from Elen. It's the benefit by the industrial strength in the shade number one. I actually like this for pimples. I find when I put concealer on a pimple, it's like a hole forms and the pimple shows itself anyway. I have yet to find like something that actually covers the pimple. This is the closest I've got. I really enjoyed getting to use it. So thank you, Elaine. I'm very grateful for the gifts that I got from people. It's very thoughtful to be sending things to me. And I, I send things to people too. Like I, it's nice that we can pass things around. I think that's really sweet. I've been bad at keeping up with everything. I've been watching YouTube. It's just like, girl, my health has been just a nightmare. But the love is still there. Okay, so the Benefit Boeing, I really liked that. Glad I got to try it. Oh, I, at this point, I finished it ages ago and I haven't missed it. So I probably wouldn't bother repurchasing that. Um, these two. So this is the Revolution Conceal and Spine in the shade C1. And I took the stopper out of this. Can you see? I took the stopper out. Thank God I finished it because it smells disgusting. It goes off very, very quickly. This one was pretty new to my collection. And when I say new, like I mean pretty new and it's gone. And I legit finished this in like 30 odd uses, something tiny. And the only positive or cool thing about it was most of the uses were natural use in the shop my stash videos that I do. My shop my stash videos always have some form of project going on in them. This was a medium coverage you could, probably could get it to full. Yeah, it says full. I tend to be light-handed with most things, but yeah, I don't think I'd repurchase this. At the time, I said I would, but I haven't missed it, so there's that. This e.l.f. concealer in the shade Fair Rose. I have tried so many e.l.f. concealers, and I cannot find one to match my skin tone. Like, I, I, I'm pale with pink, but yet in all, everything I've tried so far is either too fair or too dark for, for me. There's no, I haven't found one that's just right. But yes, this is in the shade Fair Rose. It's too light. It is the Flawless Concealer. I personally prefer a medium coverage. That seems to be my preference. I have not necessarily found a finished preference, but that is where I am at. I finished it. It's gone. So two full sizes and one like deluxe. Out of these three, I wouldn't repurchase any of them. I I'm finding it hard to... Oops, to find <laughs> concealers that I like. And I said, what the hell? <laughs> I can't. Um, yeah, three. And then foundations, I only finished two this year. Like what? Now, in saying that, I rotated. This year, I was working on rotating. Every year since like 2010, I did project pans and finished things and used nothing else. This year was like rotation, rotation. Rotating and finishing. I finished two. I finished two. I count this. This took uh, quite a number of uses. And this one, I'm nearly finished the third one. I think I'm going to get rid of the third one, though, because the color isn't right. What am I doing to myself, you know? 
Um, so this is the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Foundation. I've had three different shades. I've finished two and a half so far. This one is in the shade F for Frank 3. It is a medium coverage. You probably could get full coverage, but again, like I probably use a half a pump to a pump max. I wouldn't even say a full pump on my whole face. Um, I only use a little bit at any given time. There is 26 mils in here. It says full coverage, but I, you can medium it. SPF 30, I didn't use it for the SPF, I couldn't tell you. But look how empty that is. I did have it in a project pan when I got as far as here, I introduced it. <clears throat> I wouldn't bother repurchasing it. I was, there was a point where I said I would, but, <clears throat> excuse me. After using two and a half, I have enough. I just have enough now, you know, have enough. I do like this type of a pump though. It is not an exact dupe of the It Cosmetics, but it was perfectly fine for the price. If you like it, what is wrong with me? <clears throat> if you like a sheer one, this is not sheer. It is definitely medium, so you're going to see it. If you're not careful, it will be a mask. But yeah, no, I'm past this now. It's gone. I wouldn't repurchase it. I think it cost me between 12 and 14 euros at this point, but I did really like it at one point. But now, no. Not anymore. And then this one, this is the Tarte C Hydroflex, which I also got as a gift. It's the serum foundation. It was in the shade 25N Light Medium Neutral. I've seen so many people pan this or use this and we're all completely different shades of skin tone and undertone. And we all seem to have this shade. <laughs> and surprisingly, it seems to work for all of us. Like, I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's so, like, look how dark that is for me. You would think that is way too dark for me, wouldn't you? But, like, it just works. I don't know what about it. It just works. Now, to be fair, mostly it was in the summertime. You, this is like water. It, and when I say water, I don't mean hydrating. I mean, it's water. It, it's drippy, like fully liquid. So I couldn't apply it. I What I did is I put it up onto my face and squeeze it out there. And it was actually lovely. Now, Tarte, I can't get into Ireland without buying it. And paying customs. I do know Sephora opened in the UK on the old Feel Unique website but when I logged in it said European customers were to use the Feel Unique and UK customers could use Sephora. If anyone wants to correct me on that feel free because that would suit me. Um, so I'm assuming then I would have to pay customs on it but you know I actually quite liked that. The finish was just just juicy. But yes, out of this, I'm not going to repurchase any. I can't with this. And I think this is discontinued, but no. It's gone. It's leaving. It's not coming back. Yay! On to the next category. I probably should put a, should have put powders in this last category that I just did. But I finished these three, like, minier sizes. I have been working on my RCMA, the big, the big bad boy for the entire year. So I am surprised I finished anything on top of it. I finished, spoiler, the RCMA powder after December 31st so it now goes into 2023 empties but I finished these three in like in that year also 2022 so I finished the Tarte Smooth Operator powder which I got as a gift this one was so incredibly finely milled that it would poof into the air and you would inhale it so I I don't want to be messing around with inhaling it because it coughs I know it's like I'm not trying to be dramatic it's just it is just no, it, it, like it's nice to use. It was white, it didn't leave a white cast. It was incredibly finely milled, but even when I opened it, it would poof up into the air and inevitably you'd inhale it. So no to that girl. Um, This KVD Locket one, um, again in translucent. I actually like this one. It was a bit more like actual powder with a tinge of yellow, but again, I wouldn't bother repurchasing it, but I was so glad to try it. And the Hourglass one, I, I oops. <laughs> I really liked that one, but I wouldn't bother repurchasing or like purchasing, but I'm glad. I'm going to keep this container because it's handy. But yeah, out of these three, I wouldn't bother buying any of them, even though out of the three, this one was my favorite. Typical. Is that the most expensive one? These are all expensive to me anyway. So yes, now let's move on to like our complexion. I am keep mixing up the word base and complexion, but like cheek products basically is next. Oh my God. Okay, let's just start with these two. Okay, so for bronzer, I know, I know Natalie is going to be like, you're supposed to eat bronzers. Yes, I normally do. I normally do. 
I'm panning this like the whole year. This thing is relentless. Can you see yourself or can you see me? This thing is relentless and it's been taking me the entire year. And then I, I brought in two other bronzers and I now nearly have another two finished. That'll tell you how bad this, like hard this one is. But yeah, so I'm close on two. I'm technically close on three. But yeah, I finished one full size and I would have finished four, but for this fecker. That's a little rude bad boy. But yes, I finished this, which is from I Heart Makeup, a subsidiary or a sister brand or whatever you want to call it of Makeup Revolution in Bronze and Glow. I since decluttered, you know what? I wonder do my preference like this now? God, my preferences probably do like that now. It's more subtle, but there's like this hard pan on it. Look, if I didn't miss it, I'll leave it gone. But I finished this bronzer. It was actually a really nice bronzer for my skin tone. And it was similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one. It was soft. It was a nice undertone. It was not too pigmented for my preferences. So I did like it. I cannot repurchase this as an individual, so I won't bother. And although I seem to like the color that I'm going to maintain decluttering this from my collection because I have not missed it. So technically one, I'm so sorry, but it would have been more. It would have been, but for this fecker. <laughs> okay, blushes, I only finished one, but my goal per year up until this point had been to finish one per year. This took, I think, let me see, 121 uses to finish and it was actually relatively new. So I got this also as a gift from my beautiful twin. She's on Instagram, I'll link her down below, but this is the Noto, I'm probably pronouncing this wrong, the multi-use naturally universally, is that versally sexy? I mean, lip and cheek color. I thought this was actually gorgeous. I used it up entirely and I scooped out everything that was in here and I put it into an eyeshadow pan when I couldn't get it on the face with the stick anymore. It was 121 uses and it was actually really, really nice. I don't know, can I get this? I probably would consider something else. I really liked it to be, to be honest. Now I don't need any cream blushes right now, but one blush a year is my goal. I have moved into trying to prioritize my cream blushes because obviously they will expire first um, and then rotate or hit pan on my powders, if which is in and of itself a huge uh, undertaking because blushes are very, very difficult. Okay, for highlighters. Yeah, I finished quite a few. Okay, so I finished two creams and three powders. So this has been with me. <laughs> This is, this is, uh, yeah, this takes a long time. I actually really enjoyed using this though entirely. So that's the Capri from Huda Beauty in pink. Why do I have to look? If anyone has been watching my channel, they know I've been panning this for like a decade. <laughs> um, yeah, it took a lot of uses to finish, but I really enjoyed using it. It, I am just more into subtle highlighters personally, and I just do not like on me. My preferences for myself are not icy. I do not like icy toned highlighters. So this one it was more of that warmer, but still work for my skin tone. Not even champagne, but just not a white. I just don't like that. So this is gone and I enjoyed using it. I enjoyed it. Okay, the next one I was trying to beat to expire either. And this is the Kosas Tropic Equinox. I didn't know at the time this was going to expire so quickly. I managed to use this up entirely. Oh, oh, that smells disgusting. Um, I actually had this less than the 18 months before it died. So I'm glad that I finished this beforehand, but this is gone. So would I repurchase this? Uh, no, unless I had no cream anything because it expired way too quickly. It'd have to go to it straight away. It is like a putty finish. Um, it didn't entirely set on my face. So in hindsight, maybe I wouldn't, but I did enjoy using it. I loved the shade, loved the shade. Um, I just really loved it, but I was so sad it actually expired before. I, and it, like, it really is expired. Oh, cause I even tried pushing through and then it was so smelly that you could smell it on your face. So I was just like, no, 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 no. So that's that gone and then these are these three are powders powder highlighters normally take me like the mini becca powder you know the little small becca that is like literally an eyeshadow pan i think that took me 110 or 115 uses to finish so you're like how did you do this i did try since i see people always doing it in their projects 
if they don't really like something on their face, I see a lot of people mix it in with their body lotion. I have learned from, I did that, well, this one I panned most, this one I panned on the face, I believe entirely because it took ages. This is the Becca Coral Crystal and I really liked this. It was from the Ocean Jewels uh, limited edition palette. I decluttered the rest of it to Elaine, but I really liked this. So this one I did use on the face, I believe entirely, and I liked it. It was a subtle orangier shine, but not, um, not like a colored highlighter that's orange or pink or green where it's specifically that trend of a color. It was a natural one that had an orangey hue but wearable, if that makes sense. Well, wearable for me, like I could wear that to work. So I really liked that. You can't get it again. Becca's gone. If they were still here, I'd still be getting their highlighters because my preferences still are that style. These two are from Dandelions Cosmetics. I didn't really like this. I did like the color Moscato and Higher Power. It was very, very powdery. So fortunately, the formula didn't do it for me, but I would keep these pans now. I'll keep these plan pans. I really like to try like indie, I like brands. So I'm glad I tried it, but this particular just wasn't for me. Now, these ones I did try mixing, not all of it, but mixing it with the body lotion. I tend to have showers at nighttime. That's my, mainly when I shower. And when I mix it with a body lotion, I feel like I'm re-dirtying my clean body. I know you're not dirtying it, but you know what I mean? When you get out and you feel nice and cream, clean, it'd be like getting out, getting ready for bed and then putting a full face of makeup on. It just felt like I was putting makeup on. So I don't like doing that. I probably do it on holidays, you know, on your legs, stuff like that. Or even in the summer if I was showering in the morning. But since I normally do it at nighttime, it doesn't suit me. It doesn't suit what I like to do. But yes, three have now left my collection, which is a very exciting. Well, three powders, I mean. Five highlighters have left this year, though. That's really good. Okay. Oh, God. Can you see? This is my lip products. Um, It's not. It's probably one of my worst lip product years, but it is what it is. My usage was down, and I did not want to overuse. Plus, I think I have nearly 100 uses on these, and they're not gone. And that's what I've been panning for the year. So I, like a hundred uses and I had already a lot of use and it's not gone. So it's not like I haven't been using. I have. It's just, this is what I finished. I'd say everything is down. But anyway, lip balm. I finished four, which I'm surprised because this is the Soap and Glory Melty Talented. I got it in a Christmas kit. I normally get them for Christmas and I used it all up. That took ages. Oh my God, it took ages. But there's a lot in it. Like there's how much is in this? How much is in this? 30 grams so I'm actually I don't even remember like when I finished all of these but yeah I wouldn't repurchase this because well it's basically coconut oil that's shaded pink so there's no need for me um yeah this is the I got this is a gift too what a great gift the Laneige lip sleeping mask it is a smaller one. Oh, I really liked this it's very expensive and I really liked it to the point I got two of these as the gift two small ones I used them both up Obviously, I must have used the other one last year, 2020, or sorry, I beg your pardon, 21, because I purchased this in the full size and it's beside my bed. I love this Ugh, and it smells nice too. I do like it. So I have repurchased this and um, this one was a gift and I loved this too. Sugar Advanced Therapy for, oh, when I've mentioned gifts, it's El Elaine, Ruth, Val and my beautiful, beautiful twinning girlfriend lawyer uh, i'll link her down um below but this one is beautiful and i'd love to repurchase this the fresh advanced therapy f sugar coconut i need to take a picture of it so i don't forget because i i would like to repurchase this and then the last one i finished this one's from aldi or little i won't buy this again i bought loads of them i mean i finished like eight or nine of them they don't hydrate your lips so i don't know why i kept buying them they just don't they remind me of the ones I used to use when I was in secondary school. Oh, what were they? Neutrogena or one of those? It, like it's shined pink. Had a pink sheen. Sorry, I thought I heard noise. So I wouldn't bother getting that again. So out of these four, I would repurchase two of them. Absolutely. And then over here, lip liner. I've been panning this. I finished one. Um, I see a lot of people saying they're not really a lip liner person. Why am I always in the minority? But 
I love lip liner. I have a big er bottom lip and like an uneven top lip. So I wear a lip liner every single time I wear a lipstick. This one is from MAC. It was in the shade Whirl. It took me two years to pan of exclusive wear, unless I was wearing a red or a burgundy lip liner, which was hardly ever. So I literally always wear a nude, nude brown, so I can always wear this. It is a drier lip pencil. I prefer drier pencils and I prefer sharpenable pencils. So I love this. I would get it again. I think it's 19 euros or 20 euros. And although that's expensive, if I got two years of exclusive wear, not to mention the use I would have had on a prior to a project, it it gets the use of the cost of it. Like I don't feel like it's a wasteful price. So I would buy that again, 100%. And then this is what surprises me. <laughs> now this Charlotte Tilbury one in Pillow Talk I got from Elaine. I actually have repurchased it. I think Elaine kindly helped me. I was trying to figure out which one this was. Was it the, the see I'm not really up in the know with the different shades here on, on Pillow Talk, but like I think there's like a normal one, a middle, a deep, a this, a that, the other. And I think this is like their standard one. I used it up. It actually, this little thing, if you can buy little minis, do. Because I can't remember how many uses, but like I know it was a hundred. I, I, I just, I know it was a huge amount of uses and it was beautiful. So I actually bought it. I bought it. Like, who am I? I bought that. And Elaine helped me figure out which one it was. And I think it was the normal, their more common one that they have. What do you call the main one in their range? Anyway, I repurchased this. I did like it. I tried to wait and I did wait a couple of months and, and I actually missed it. So I bought it. So that's that was a good test for me. Lip gloss. I finished only one. Only one which I'm surprised about. I thought I finished more, but clearly I did not. This is janky now. This is the Fenty Beauty Diamond Milk. Uh, I took the stopper out. That's why it's so it's disgusting. Look at that. Like it's empty. It's I have two more Fenty glosses. They're not in this shade. I feel like I would repurchase this again because I did quite like it. I did not like the smell initially. It smelled like, ma'am, my mother said cherries was what she was getting. <clears throat> it still smells fine in there. Um... I don't know what that smells like. I don't like food flavored lip products. I don't like that. But once I was wearing it frequently, I didn't mind the smell anymore. There's nine mils in it. It took me a long time. Like it really did take me a long time to use it. I feel like at this point I would buy it again because I did like it, but not now. Like I'm going to finish a lot more of what I have and then consider it like I'm panning this just myself, the Terra 28 gloss. And I, I think I prefer that formula to this formula, but I know this brand goes off quicker. So I would wait until I had hardly any and then buy it. But out of the two, I seem to prefer this one. But I do really like this. I just don't need it right now. Just don't need it right now. But I did like it. Okay, brows, eyes, the whole lot. All right, let me just, I'm going to pull these in here. Right, brows, eyes, what's the story? We will pull out brows. Let's start this again. I kind of messed up there and I had a product in here that I shouldn't have in, but I was saying that my brow products are under control in my collection. So I just like to cycle through what I have. There's no gold, there's no excess. And um, there was a point when there was, I always have around two pencils and I finished two and I now have a different, God, I hope I have two. But anyway, I finished these two. Um, this one is from NYX. It is expensive. It is, but I like it. It's in the shade taupe. I tend to be taupe on brow pencils and I prefer micro brow, pe brow pencils. I bought this because of the hype, the e.l.f. one, and that it's affordable, but I um, I do not like this tip. I have small brows. That's too wide for my preference. I don't prefer that. Even though it lasts longer than a micro brow pencil, I still prefer the apple, like how it looks. So unfortunately I'd repurchase this even though it's not the cheapest. Like I just hate the cost of it considering how quickly that you do use them up. But uh, yes, I like this and I'd get it again. I finished a second brow pencil. This is from AOA Studios. It is a slim brow in the shade taupe, but it was too dark. I, I used it up. You could get away with it, um, but it was too dark. So I wouldn't repurchase that. If 
I, I must check what the next shade up is because I think this was like 90 cent or a dollar and it was perfect. It was just the wrong shade. It, like it was too dark. It was the right undertone, but you could get away with it. So I definitely would repurchase this and I would be open to this if it was in my shade. And I finished one brow gel. I nearly have a second one finished. This one is from Colourpop. It's the clear one. It was my oldest. I wouldn't mind buying it again. It doesn't make your brows crunchy. It doesn't necessarily hold them like stiff, but it just stops the hairs from falling down. So it did what it needed to do, but if I was ordering from Colourpop, yes, I would. Because like I have to pay customs on Colourpop. So I wouldn't go out of my way to do it. But if I was, I, I would get it again. But I'm not going to bother right now. So no need. Um, For eyeliners, I finished three. Which is surprising. I finished one liquid. This is the, uh, the Balm, the Schwing Black Liquid Eyeliner in in uh, I don't know black sorry it's a felt tip and I think it's fantastic and I don't know if you can see but I actually used can you see I actually used this up it's not that it dried out it's that I used up the product because you, you can see with this one how it coats the wand and it didn't I've had it a long time and it didn't go off I fully used this up which I'm pretty impressed with I'm delighted there's 1.7 mils in it it's a very good uh, liquid liner and I would I would buy that again. It's it's my favorite one that I've used. I'm not going to buy it until I use up the ones that I have. But when I do, when that day comes, th and this one, if it's still my favorite, I'll circle back to this if it's still there at that time. But yeah, I loved that. I finished two eyeliners, which is surprising. Um, this is the Marc Jacobs. It was a gift. What a great gift because this, obviously Marc Jacobs is gone, but it's expensive. This is it rolled up. Now you, you can see there's a little bit of product, but I can't get that onto my waterline anymore. And I didn't like it. It's the Black Hoor. I like the shade if you go over it twice. If you go over your waterline once, it's not opaque enough. If you go over it twice, it was at the darkness that I would like. However, it does not last even a half an hour on me. I don't, I have only two small, like deluxe size, size black liners left, I think. Neither of them stay in my waterline. I have seen a comment on my YouTube video and I appreciate that saying that I should try a Kajal one. So if you recommend a Kajal, like I don't know any. So if there's one that you recommend that's Kajal, let me know and I'll look into it because I need a black liner that works. Like the Charlotte Tilbury one I have and it's brown. And it's a lovely colour, but that doesn't last even a half an hour either. So, I mean, why? what am I missing with eyeliners? Because why are, why are people loving them? Why are they not staying on me? Anyway, this was a no, so I wouldn't repurchase this even if I could. But I'm so glad I got to try it because it's super expensive. This one is from Inglot. This is in the shade, I think it's 01. And this one, out of the ones I've tried, it's it actually lasted longer than the other ones. However, it used to pool, pool out in the corner. You know, after a couple of hours, it would pool out and you'd have to wipe it. So, Momo, my cat's crying, one second. Okay, she stopped crying. So anyway, although this was black and it lasted a long time, towards the end, it would pool outside of my eye into the little like gather. So no, like, I don't know why I find it so hard to get eyeliners, but no, I can't, I can't get that. And then for mascara, I am not one of those people who throw things out after three months. I just use it until I can't use it anymore. That tends to be in or around that timeline anyway. But if you look, most things say six. So I, I mean, like, look, that's just how I roll. I don't care. I just like to use things until I can't use it anymore. And that has never proven, like, I've not failed with that so far. So I'm happy to each their own. This I first ever discovered from Ilen and... I love this. I just love it. This is After Midnight Ilia Mascara. This one is the Limitless Lash Mascara. And I'm actually using another one right now. <laughs> I love it. It's actually nearly gone. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm using another one right now. I'm really grateful for this gift because I still believe I have to pay customs if I want to get this. But I just love it for my small eyes. They're hooded. And look at this plastic bristle. It like, it really gets up in there. It's just, it's definitely my favorite mascara ever in this whole world. In the world that I've tried so far and I got to try this because of Elen and I wouldn't have even known about it because I don't buy expensive mascaras. I'm not drawn to purchasing mascaras. Um, so I would have never known. So that, what, what a kind thing to do. 
This other one was another gift and I think this one came from Val. I really like this one as well. This is the Lancome Monsignor Big and this is a like a bristly one. This is a bristly one and if I didn't mention the Ilia gives volume and length more so length but still sufficient volume. See my eyelashes are long they're just blonde so you can't see them but they really do you justice and they don't transfer. This one just fluffies up your eyes it's so pretty. Um, I would buy this if I could if I can buy this I will buy this because I really liked it but not now and this one I got from Elaine as well this is the Urban Decay Lash Freak. Um, I actually really like this would you believe because when I saw this wand I was like what in the name of God is this what is this how is this going to be good it actually was really good it really really lifts up your eyelashes it really lifts them up I have another one I think in my collection so I'll use it again but I really liked this too so I finished three this year and I loved all three and all three were as a result of gifts which are thoughtful okay well eyeshadow I am going to put the number on the screen and count them just to make sure I'm right I can't really, really remember I have them here but I want to make sure I'm right so I finished this preppy eyeshadow from Makeup Geek it took me around 100 121 to 6 uses I can't remember exactly um but and it took me that many uses inside my project pan my eyeshadow one and I had a significant number of uses on it prior to that it was a matte brown cool tone brown contour almost of a shade and I really enjoyed it and it's gone and it was very very good so I liked that it took a lot of work to finish it this one is from is called April. It's from Violet Voss. It was a matte cream and I finished it. It was from a massive palette, the Rider Dye palette. And I think it's called April. I don't know now, but I finished it. Finished. I'm going to count the number of matte creams because I feel like matte cream is always my num my largest number of uses. Um, from the Norvina, I did finish the matte cream in here in the shade Base. I'm really drawn to this dazzling shade right now. So I did finish this matte cream as well. So that's two. Two finished of the matte creams. Three, that's three. Okay, and then this is the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions. Oops, I know for a fact I finished three this year. So I finished this matte cream and these two. I finished three from here. I, I Obviously I must have finished five from here because this palette was full at the start of the year. There must be a reason for this just in case okay and then this is my Violet Voss and Laura Lee palette and I finish five from here five from here this is a good formula still is a good well some of them are going off now but I mean in general the formula itself is very very good so let's count them uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven which I'm really happy with I am really happy with and that oh wait hang on I have one more product that I will I won't put in in future years I, I'm not really sure this is an acetone right it was seven euros and I finished it I'm keeping the bottle because I reused this bottle I put this in because I finished it and I bought this out of my beauty budget and I normally include nail varnishes if I finish them but I don't think I'll include things like this because I don't include sponges or brushes but I am this year and I don't want to mess my numbers up so um it's here but I wouldn't normally so I did not meet 50 I got 48 oh how annoying but anyway look that's 48 products that have left my collection I will put the total money up on the screen. I think it's like 400 euros ish. I don't care about the money value. I care about the product value. But that is where we are at. Thank you so much for watching and been like here with me. I know I'm a bit of a loose cannon right now, girl. Uh, I hope that your year is going okay so far and I will see you in the next one. I'm about to film my inventory. So see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.